Hi everyone, welcome to the afternoon stretch with Get Active TV. All right, same thing. Before we start, let's check out the screen uh, to see what Get Active TV has in store for us for the rest of the week. All right, so my name is Shane and I'm from Yoga Movement. All right, today I'll be guiding you through a 60-minute yoga class that will primarily focus more on really giving your lower body a stretch today. So we'll be working mainly to really stretch out and warm up those hamstrings and also release the tension in between the hips. Alright, so to start, let's bring the soles of the feet together to touch, finding a very comfortable butterfly legs here. Alright, if you have blocks or anything comfortable, you can place the blocks below the bum or below the knees to support. Alright, just allow the knees to fall out towards the side, really allowing the hips to open up. Alright, you can place your palms onto your knees or you can just grab your palms onto the fronts of your feet, whatever that makes you feel most comfortable. Alright, then slowly allow the knees to fall out towards the side. Lift the chest, lengthen up the spine. Shrug the shoulders and roll them back and down away from the ears. Alright, keep the spine long, keep puffing the chest out, draw the crown of it towards the ceiling and gently allow the eyes to close. In this time, allow the mind and the body to arrive onto the mat physically and mentally this Tuesday afternoon. Very inhale, lengthen through the sides of your body to send the crown weight towards the ceiling, lengthen up the spine. Very exhale, you want to draw the shoulders away from your ears, pull the knees down closer towards the mat, feel the opening in the hips as you ground down into your sitting bones over here. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, side out. And seal the lips and recreate that ah sound by constricting the back of your throat, finding that ujjayi breath. Feeling the belly rise with the inhale, feeling the belly fall with every exhale. One breath, one movement, inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, palms together to touch, stretching through the sides of your body. As you exhale, lower the palms down to heart centre, bling open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Alright, just some comfortable seated twist before we start. Right palm place onto the left knee, left fingertips behind you. Alright, at the base of your spine, inhale, lift your chest, lengthen up the spine, sit up tall. As you exhale, let's twist over towards the left as you pull the right palm into the left knee. Alright, keep the spine long, don't hunch the back, so keep puffing the chest out. We stay, remember to breathe, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist even deeper for three, last two. Right, inhale, slowly come back to center, change sides. Now left palm, right knee. All right, right fingertips at the base of the spine. Inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, twist over towards the right. All right, twisting through the sides of your body. Keep the spine long. Remember to breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist even more. We stay for three, last two. Right, inhale, slowly come all the way back to center. Now some side stretches, place the left fingertips beside you on the left, reach your right hand up. Right, inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, walk the left fingertips towards the left as you lean over towards the left. Reaching the right hand over, option one, you can stay, roll the right shoulder back. Option two, if you want to go deeper, come down to that left forearm. Don't let the right knee come up too high, so keep pulling that right knee down, grounding the hips. We stay for three, last two. Inhale, slowly come all the way back to center. Change sides, right fingertips down beside you, reach your left hand up. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, walk the right fingertips towards the right, lean over towards the right, reach your left hand over. Same options as before, option one, stay. If you want to go deeper, you can come down to the right forearm. Don't let the left knee come up too high, pull the left knee down. Roll the left shoulder back, shine the heart up towards the ceiling, last three. Last two, enjoy the stretch of the left side body. Inhale, slowly come all the way back up. This time, fingertips in front of you. Inhale, lift your chest. Alright, exhale, let's try to fold forward. 
Alright, just a gentle stretch. You can walk the fingertips forward here, really releasing the tension. Alright, in between the hips, warming it up. Feel free, rock yourself left, right, left, right. Stretch out the side torso here, be stiff. Alright, maybe go even deeper if you can, but don't push yourself too much. Just a very short, gentle warm up here for three. Last two. Inhale, slowly come all the way back up. Alright, spread all 10 fingers in front of you and place them 10 inches below the top of the mat. Alright, stack the hips directly on top of the knees, find that tabletop. Shoulders right on top of the palms, hips right on top of the knees. Relax the toes if that's more comfortable for you. Alright, couple rounds of cat and cow. So as you inhale, slowly start to drop the belly and arch the back. Form a U shape the spine, push the chest forward, draw the shoulders away from the ears and gaze up towards the ceiling here. Very nice. Then as you exhale, point the tailbone down towards the knees, draw the belly in and round the back. Gaze towards your navel and we cat spine. Alright, just two more rounds like this. Inhale, start to drop the belly, arch the back. Shine the chest forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, draw them away from the ears. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in, round the back. Alright, push into the palms and actively pull the shoulder blades away from each other. Alright, inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, moving with the breath. Alright, feel the stretch in that front body and the engagement in the back body muscles here. Now as you exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in. This time, feel the stretch in the back body, engagement in your front body muscles, your obliques. Now as you inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Alright, tuck the toes and then step the left leg towards the back of the mat. Alright, ground the left heel down towards the right, so left foot parallel towards the back of the mat. Spin the right toes out behind you. Then as you inhale, slowly start to reach the left hand up towards the ceiling here. And then sweep the left arm over the face, bicep body here. So you really give a stretch in that whole left side body here. We stay, keep squeezing the right side body. Last three. Last two, stretch even more. Now as you inhale, slowly start to shift the weight over towards the left foot as you cartwheel your arms over. Left fingertips finds that left calf. Right hand reaches towards the left here. Alright, gate pose, roll the right shoulder back. Feel the stretch in your right side body for last three. Last two. Inhale, cartwheel the palms back down in front of you. Alright, just changing sides, lift up that left heel, spin the right toes back. Bring the left knee back and then step the right leg back. Alright, ground the right heel down towards the left. Check right feet parallel towards the back of the mat. Spin the left toes out behind you. Inhale, reach the right hand up. Alright, stretch and lengthen up the side body. Then sweep the right arm over the face, bicep by the ears. Right fingertips reach forward. Keep reaching forward. Stretch out the whole right side body for last three. Squeeze the left side body. Last two. Now as you inhale, slowly shift the weight towards the right foot, cartwheel the arms over. Right fingertips on top of the right calf, left arm reaches back, roll the left shoulder back. Feel the stretch at your whole left side body this time. We stay. Last three. Last two. Inhale, cartwheel the palms back down. Lift up that right heel. This time, just step the left leg towards the back of the mat. Find that high plank. So shoulders is right on the palms, the heels on top of the toes. Bring the big toes and heels together to touch. Then squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Draw the belly in, pull the belly in towards the spine. We stay. Core is strong. Last three. Last two. So again, inhale here. Now as you exhale, without moving the arms and the feet, let's pull the hips all the way up and back. Find that downward facing dog. Alright, now start to pelt the feet, sway side to side. Do whatever that makes you feel comfortable. With every inhale, try to lengthen through the sides of your body to send the hips even higher. Alright, as you melt the chest towards the back of the room, feeling the stretch in the shoulders. As you exhale, try to ground the heels down closer towards the mat. feel the stretch in the hamstrings. If the hamstrings feel tight, you can always micro bend the knees. That's completely fine. Take one more breath here. Very nice. Big toes and heels together to touch. Now as you inhale, so you start to lift the heels, bend the knees, and you can gaze towards the top of the mat. As you exhale, take just many tiny steps forward. Take your time to drawing the belly in, core is strong. Alright, separate the feet hip width distance apart. Now as you inhale, fingertips onto the shin, straighten the arms, straighten the legs, flat back. 
half way lift. Exhale forward, fold, melt the belly towards your thighs and then relax your neck. Right, keep a soft bend in your knees as you inhale, slowly start to roll yourself all the way up, reaching your arms up, your palms to your touch. Alright, squeeze the bum, push the hips forward, lift the heart to the ceiling, gentle back bend here. Then as you exhale, swan dive all the way down. Forward fold, melt the belly towards your thighs, relax your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, straight arms, straight legs, flat back, shine the chest forward. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees and then ground the palms down. Left leg back, right leg back, high plank. As we inhale, shift the weight forward, shoulders over the wrist, lower the knees down. Then drop the belly, arch the back, think about that cow spine here. Start to bend the elbows, but hug the elbows towards the ribs. Lower the chest and the chin, the hips still high, point the tailbone up. Then as you inhale, relax the toes and then glide forward so your belly is onto the mat. Lift the chest, baby cobra is your first option. Alright, if you want to go deeper, slowly start to lift the chest, engage the upper back body muscles. Maybe even straighten up the arms, full cobra, draw the shoulders away from your ears. Now as you exhale, downward, facing down. Very nice. Alright, big toes and heels together to touch. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, side out. All right, next inhale, let's lift up that right leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. All right, then as you exhale, let's open up the hip as you lift the right leg all the way up and then start to bend into the right knee. Find that scorpion tail, really opening up that right hip here, roll the right shoulder down to square the hips. You stay grounding the left heel down closer towards the mat, so you really feel the stretch at the back of that left calf for last three, last two. Now next, inhale, can you lift up that left heel? Exhale, can you lean forward and bring that right knee towards that right armpit? Draw the belly in, and then gently step the right foot outside the right palm. Lower your left knee down, find that lizard lunge. Relax the left toes and push the left all right, thigh closer towards the mat as you sink the hips down towards the mat here. All right, feel the stretch in that left quadricep. So that left hip flexor and the opening up in that right hip. Alright, don't let the right knee flat out. So keep hugging the right knee towards the right armpit. Option one, you can stay. Option two, you can come down to your forearms here. To go deeper, keep sinking the hips down low. Alright, keep pushing the hips down. Feel the stretch in the front of that left thigh for three. Last two. Next inhale, slowly come back to your palms. Palms in line with the right foot. Now right palm push into that right knee, open up that right hip. So right knee point out towards the side. Can you lift your chest and twist the body towards the right as you gaze towards the left foot? Now option one, you can just stay here. Option two, you can slowly start to bend that left knee, flexing that left foot and drawing the left heel close towards your bum. All right, then you can reach your right hand towards the back of the room to help you twist more, but don't grab onto that left foot yet. So active engagement, pull the left heel closer, engage those hamstrings here. Re keep reaching towards the back for last three. Last two, inhale here. Exhale this time, right palm can grab the left foot, pull it close towards the bum. Very nice. Stretch out the front of that left thigh, we stay. Keep pushing the hips down, but keep the spine long for three. Last two, we're gonna inhale here. As you exhale, release the left foot, place the right palm back down. Hug the right knee towards the right armpit, grounding the right foot down. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. All what you want to do, shift the weight forward, shift the weight, shifting the weight over towards the right foot. Can you take a big step forward, left foot steps outside the left palm. Alright, then you sink the hips down low, find that malasana squat, your yogi squat. So your feet pointing outwards at a 45 degree angle. Keep sinking the hips down, but don't round the back. So lift the chest, elbows inside the thighs as you push and bring the palms to heart center. Feel the opening in the hips. Now, if this is too much and too painful, you can always, if you have anything comfortable, a block, a pillow, you can place it below your bum. All right, so you give more support for the weight and then you really focus on just using your elbows to push into the thighs to really open up the hips. You stay. Last three. Just for two, we're gonna inhale here. And as you exhale, if you have the block, just remove the block. 
And then send the hips all the way up, wiggle the toes back, forward fold. Alright, inhale, slowly find that halfway lift. Straight arms, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, ground both palms up. Left leg back, right leg back, high plank. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, knees. And the chest and the chin down onto the mat. Hips still high. Inhale, glide forward. Baby, or that full cobra here. Exhale, downward. Facing dog is very me. Why right, take a big inhale through the nose? Open the mouth, side out. All right, onto the other side. Inhale, left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, open up the hip, scorpion tail, bend that left knee. Point the left knee up towards the ceiling, open up the hips. Staying here for three. Last two, inhale, lift up that right heel, lean forward. All right, as you exhale, step the left foot outside the left palm. And lower the right knee down, relax the right toes. All right, keep sinking the hips down low. Feel the stretch and the opening in that left hip. All right, pushing the hips down close to where the mat. Option one, you can stay. Option two, you can come down to your forearms here. All right, sink the hips down low. Relax the right toes if that's more comfortable for you. Don't let the left knee flat out. Hug the left knee close towards the left armpit. Last three. Last two. Inhale, let's come back to our palms. Palms in line with the left foot. Now left palm push into the left knee. Open up the left hip. So left knee point out towards the side. Alright, then lift the chest. Slowly start to twist over towards the left as you gaze towards the back of the mat. Alright, look at the right heel. Slowly start to bend the right knee. Alright, flex the right foot, right heel close towards the bum. Active engagement at the back of the right thigh. Then left arm reaches towards the back of the mat. Alright, so use the arm to twist your body more towards the left. Alright, and then you bring the right heel closer. Active engagement, don't grab the foot yet. We stay for last three. Reach even more, last two. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left palm grabs the right heel, pull it close towards the bum. Remember, don't let the hips fall back too much, so keep really sinking the hips down. Keep pulling the left knee out towards the side. So you feel the opening in the left hip, the stretch in the front of that right thigh. We stay for last three. Last two, take an inhale here. Exhale, release the right foot, place the left palm back down. Hug the left knee towards the left armpit, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Lean forward, shift the weight over towards the left foot, and then step the right foot forward outside the right palm. Slowly lower the hips down. All right, feet pointing out towards the side, palms heart center, yogi squat. All right, so you can start to sway the hips left and right, left and right. Really start to open up the hips here. Try not to round the back too much, so keep lifting the chest up. Keep the spine long, keep the hips low, keep the knees pointing out towards the side. All right, for last three. All right, really relax, releasing the tension in between the hips. Last two, they're gonna inhale here. Exhale, palms down, left leg back, right leg back. Find that high plank. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, knees, chest, and the chin down onto the mat. Inhale, glide forward, baby, or your Ooh, cool brush. Straighten up the arms, draw the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, listen carefully, child's pose. So slowly bring the bum towards the heels as you open up the knees, mat width distance apart. Alright, keep the toes relaxed. Melt the belly in between your thighs, your fingertips still reaching forward. Rest the forehead down onto the mat. Alright, so you can take this time, towel some sweat, maybe take some sips of water. We'll go for a quick one minute commercial break here. See you in a
Hey guys, welcome back. So we'll meet in downward facing dog once we are ready. Palms down, come into that high plank first. Just make sure shoulders are on top of the palms, heels on top of the toes. All right, wiggle the toes back if you need to, squeezing the inner thighs with each other. Take an inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips all the way up and back. Ground the heels down close towards the mat. All right, really spread all 10 fingers. Index finger place, facing towards the top of the mat. All right, now as you inhale, kick the right leg up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, open up the hips. Scorpion tail once more. Bend the right knee. Ground the left heel down. Staying here. Three. Last two. They're going to inhale as you lift up the left heel. This time, as you exhale, right knee towards the nose. Draw the belly in, squeeze the bum, roll yourself forward. Gaze in between your palms and gently step the right foot in between your palms. Lower the left knee down, relax the left toes. Come onto your fingertips, draw the belly in. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Alright, Anjanayasana, low lunge here. Exhale, push the hips down towards the mat. Left thigh close towards the mat. Alright, as you sink the hips low, slowly start to twist over towards the left. Open up the arms, reaching the arms towards the side. Alright, spread all 10 fingers. Alright, keep twisting through the side obliques here. Then place the left palm on top of the left calf. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, reach your right arm up and towards the back of the room. Right, roll the right shoulder back. Keep lifting the chest. Don't let the hips fall back. So keep bending into that right knee. We stay. Last three. Last two. Now as you inhale, start to come all the way back to centre. This time the hips, the palms you place onto your hips. Alright, tuck the left toes for more support. As you inhale, slowly start to pull the hips back, straighten up their right leg. Then flex their right foot. The core is strong to help you stay stable. Alright, take a big inhale through the nose. Then as you exhale, option one, you can stay. Option two, you can fold forward. Unsupported half splits. Trying to melt the belly towards the right thigh. Keep sending the chest forward. Alright, point the chin towards the top of the mat. Keep the spine long. If you want, you can fly the arms towards the back of the room. Final option, interlace the fingers behind you at the bum. Bring the palms all the way up towards the ceiling. Fold even deeper. Wherever you are, keep flexing the right foot. Feel the stretch at the back of the right thigh. The right hamstring for last three. Last two. Inhale, palms towards the bum, release the arms, hands onto the hips, roll yourself forward. Very nice. Now place the left palm on the inside of the right calf. Then as you inhale, twist the body towards the right. And then as you exhale, reach the right hand up. Alright, coming for a twist here in our half splits. Keep flexing the right foot, keep rolling the right shoulder back. We stay. Last three. Last two, take an inhale here, exhale, right palm down, bend into the right knee. Place the left palm on the inside of the right foot, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, reach your right hand up, revolve, high lunge. Alright, keep squeezing the right knee close towards the chest, but draw the belly in towards the spine, away from that left right thigh. Alright, now as you inhale, can you shift the weight over towards the right foot and come onto the left fingertips? Left leg straight and strong, exhale, slowly come up. Right fingertips place on top of the left calf. Alright, left hand reaches towards the back of the room. You stay here in a high lunge twist for last three. Last two, take an inhale. Now as you exhale, slowly start to untwist, reach your arms up. Ground the left heel down, warrior two. Bend into that right knee, open up that right hip. Alright, inhale, flip the palms towards the left side of the room, lean forward. Exhale, place the right palm on the inside of the right foot, pushing the right elbow into that right knee to open up that right hip. And then reach the left hand up towards the ceiling. Alright, finding the extended side angle. Remember the engagement, so really push right palm into the right knee, feel the opening in the right hip. Pull the left knee cap up, squeeze the left thigh, we stay. Alright, core is strong here, last three. Last two. Inhale, come all the way back up. Then as you exhale, straighten up the right leg. Now place the right palm on the inside of the right calf and reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. Find that trikonasana, triangle pose. Alright, if you want to go deeper, if the hamstrings are warm enough, you can go all the way down and then place the right palm on the inside of the right calf. Alright, keep rolling the left shoulder back. We stay. 
for last three, last two. Now let's take an inhale here. Exhale, lower the left fingertips down in front of you and walk the fingertips towards the middle of the mat. All right, turning the body, can you point the toes in and the heels out? All right, going for a wide legged forward four. Inhale, lift your chest, keep the spine long, point the tailbone up. Exhale, hinge from the hips and melt the way towards the thighs. Relax into the shoulders, relax the neck. All right, if you want to open up the shoulders, feel free, interlace all 10 fingers behind you and bring the palms away from the bum. Remember to squeeze the shoulder blades together and bring them away from the bum. You stay, shift the weight over towards the balls of your feet. So you really feel a stretch at the back of both your thighs, your hamstrings here, last three, last two. And as you inhale, bum back towards the palms back towards the bum, release the fingertips, lift the chest, inhale. All right, this time, can you point your toes out and then your heels in. Exhale, bend into that left knee as you lift the right ball, the feet up. All right, coming for your skandhasana. Flex that right foot. If this is uncomfortable, grab a block or a pillow, anything comfortable, place below your bum. All right, then keep pushing the left elbow into that left thigh. All right, feel the opening in the left hip. The whole engagement and the slight stretch in the right hamstring here. Keep flexing the right foot. Don't hunch the back. So keep lifting the chest puff, the chest out. Maybe even walk the left fingertips towards the back of the mat and reach the right hand up. Adding a twist here, we stay. All right, keep flexing the right foot. Last three. Last two, they're going to inhale here. Now as you exhale, can you flex the right foot, fingertips down in front of you, bend into that right knee. Alright, then palms to frame that right foot, lift up that left heel, finding that runner's lunge. Draw the belly in, fingertips stay onto the mat. As you inhale, can you start to melt the belly towards that right thigh first, and then straighten up that right leg. Again, stretching out those hamstrings. Left heel is lifted. Take a small step forward with the left foot. So you can comfortably ground it down 45 degrees towards the back. Left toes point towards the top left hand corner of your mat. All right, grounding the heel down towards the mat, you should feel a stretch at the back of the left calf. All right, pull the left hip forward and the right hip back as you melt the belly closer towards the right thigh. Maybe walk the fingertips forward slightly. Pyramid pose, we stay. For three, very nice, last two. Alright, so as we inhale, can we walk the fingertips back this time? Place the left palm on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, slowly start to twist over towards the right. Revolve pyramid here, still feeling the stretch at the back of that right thigh. Maybe just a little bit deeper here as we roll the right shoulder back, adding the twist. Last three, last two, we're going to inhale here, exhale, lower the right fingertips down, alright, then slowly start to walk the left fingertips towards the back of the mat, as you pivot the left toes out, find that skandhasana one more, once more, alright, this time, can we point the tailbone out, as we put the bum out, alright, lift the chest, so puff the chest out, alright, then slowly start to reach your arms forward in front of you, so really feel an active engagement in the thigh muscles. Keep pressing into that left big toe. Keep melting the chest forward. We stay. All right, press into the left big toe. Keep flexing the right foot for last three. Last two. They're going to inhale here. Exhale, fingertips down. Bend into the right knee. All right, walk the fingertips forward. Lift up that left heel. All right, and then step the right leg towards the back of the mat. Find that high plank. Draw the belly in, inhale, lean forward, exhale, knees, chest and the chin down onto the mat, inhale, roll yourself forward, baby, all right, full cobra here, exhale, downward, facing down, very nice, take a big inhale through your nose, open your mouth, side out. All right, onto the other side, big toes and heels together to touch. As you inhale, left leg all the way up, keep melting the chest down towards the back of the room. Exhale, open up the hips, scorpion tail. Bend the left knee, point the left knee up towards the ceiling, roll the left shoulder down. All right, left hip open for last three. 
last two. Inhale, lift up that right heel. Exhale, left knee towards the nose, draw the belly in. Roll yourself forward, core is strong, gaze in between your palms. Step the left foot in between your palms. All right, lower the right knee down, relax the right toes, come onto your fingertips, draw the belly in. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Anjanayasana, lower lunge. Exhale, sing the hips low. Right, right thigh closer towards the mat. Roll the right hip forward and the left hip back here. Alright, very nice. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, this time open up the arms towards the right side of the room, twisting through the side obliques. Right, right fingertips, right calf. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, reach the left arm back. Roll the left shoulder back, lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Keep bending into the left knee for last three. Last two. Inhale, come all the way back to center. Exhale, this time palms by the hips. Tuck the right toes. Pull the hip back. Straighten up that left leg first. Then slowly start to flex the left foot. So lift the left ball of the feet off the mat. All right, draw the belly in towards the spine. Core is strong. Take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, option one, stay. Option two, melt the belly close towards the left thigh. Alright, but keep sucking the rows in, so use the core to maintain balance. Alright, maybe even reach your arms towards the back of the room. Maybe interlace them, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Adding that shoulder stretch as you fold deeper. Now keep flexing the left foot, feel the stretch to the back of that left thigh. The left hamstring will stay for last three. Last two. Inhale, release the arms. Palms by the hips, roll yourself up. Right now, right palm place on the inside of that left calf. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, twist over towards the left and reach your left hand up. Coming for a twist, keep flexing that left foot. Feel the stretch at the back of that left hamstring for last three. Last two. Now take an inhale here. Exhale, left fingertips down, bend into the left knee, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, right palm on the inside of the left foot, reach your left hand up towards the ceiling, coming for a revolve high lunge. Lift up the right heel, draw the belly in, core is strong, take an inhale here. Now as you exhale, come onto the right fingertips first, draw the belly in, press into the left big toe, inhale, reach your arms back. Left fingertips on top of that right car, right hand reaches towards the back. Enjoy the twist in your high lunge for three. Go even deeper, last two. Inhale, untwist, and ground the right heel down. Opening up the arms, finding that warrior two. Flip the palms towards the right side, lean forward, inhale. Exhale, place the left palm on the inside of the left foot. Push the left elbow into that left knee to really open up the left hip and reach the right hand up. Find that extended side angle. Squeezing the left side body, we stay. For three, keep bending into the left knee, pull that right knee, keep up, squeeze the right thigh. Last two. Inhale, come all the way back. Straighten up the left leg. Alright, then flip the left palm and lean forward as you inhale. Exhale, left palm rests on the inside of the left calf. Roll the right shoulder open. Then we use the right hand up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Option one, stay. If you want to go deeper, hamstring warming up, you can plant your whole left palm down to the mat. Keep reaching your right hand up. If the neck allows, gaze towards the right thumb. Last three. Last two. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the right fingertips down. Walk your fingertips towards the middle of the mat on the right side. All right, and then bring the heels out, the toes in. Inhale, lift the chest, keep the spine long. Exhale, hinge from the hips, melt the belly in between the thighs. Maybe this time, walk the fingertips below you towards the other side of the mat. So you really deepen the stretch. Keep shifting the weight forward towards the balls of the feet. We stay. Last three. Last two. Now as we inhale, slowly come all the way back up. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine. This time, point the toes out and then the heels in. 
As you exhale, slowly start to bend into the right knee and flex that left foot. Coming into your Skandasana here. Right elbow on the inside of the right thigh, push into the right knee, open up the right hip, reach the left hand up, flex the left foot. Alright, keep twisting the body towards the left side, roll the left shoulder back. Alright, place a block, a pillow or a towel, anything comfortable below the bum. Alright, if you need more support, we stay. Last three. Last two. Inhale, fingertips down, flex that left foot. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Walk the fingertips forward to frame the left foot, lift up the right heel. Then melt the belly towards the left thigh. As you inhale, slowly start to straighten up that left leg. Alright, then take a small step forward with that right foot. Rounding the right heel down 45 degrees towards the back. Roll the right hip forward, the left hip back. Inhale, lift your chest. Then as you exhale, melt the belly closer towards the left thigh. Right, really feeling the stretch at the back of that left hamstring here. Maybe walk the fingertips forward to go deeper. We stay. Last three. Last two. Right, inhale, walk the fingertips back slightly, lift the chest. Then as you exhale, plant the right palm on the inside of that left foot. Roll and twist the body towards the left. And then reach your left hand up. Revolve pyramid pose. Still stretching out that left hamstring here. We stay. For the last three. Last two. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left fingertips down. Right, lift up that right heel, bend into that left knee, wiggle the right foot all the way back. Find that runner's lunge. Alright, ground the palms down, step the left leg back. High plank, draw the belly in, inhale, lean forward. Exhale, knees, chest and the chin down onto the mat. Inhale, glide forward. Baby, or that full cobra here. Very nice. Keep puffing the chest out, counter stretch the back. Exhale, Charles Pose. Bum towards the heels, belly in between the thighs, relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Alright, take this time, towel off some sweat, take some sips of water. Just a one minute commercial break, I'll see you in a minute. Very nice. Hey guys, welcome back. So once you're ready, downward facing dog is where we meet again. So palms down, all right, lift up the heels, lift up the knees, shoulder width distance apart, where the palms are, draw the belly in, take an inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. All right, ground the heels on closer towards the mat. Maybe this time with all the hamstring stretches, the heels can finally touch the mat. Alright, keep pushing the chest towards the back of the room. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, side out. Alright, big toes and heels together to touch. As you inhale, lift the heels and bend the knees. Alright, gaze towards the top of the mat. Exhale, two, two big steps forward towards the top. Alright, big toes and heels still touching. Inhale, halfway lift. Straight arms flat back. Alright, shine the chest forward, exhale, forward, fold. Melt the belly towards your thighs, relax your neck. 
Right, keep the soft bend in your knees, inhale, roll yourself up. Alright, reaching your arms up, your palms together, touch, squeeze the bum hips forward, heart towards the ceiling, gentle back bend, keep lifting the chest. Then as you exhale this time, sweep the arms down and up as you bend the knees, pulling the hips back and down. Ukatasana, chair pose here. Right, don't arch the back too much, so tuck the tailbone as you draw the belly in. Exhale, pull the hips back, bend the knees even more. We stay, keep reaching your arms forward, keep lifting the chest, suck the lowers in, squeeze the inner thighs with each other. Last three. Alright, go even deeper. If the legs are shaking, that it's the way you do it. Last two. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower the bum down, immediately cast parallel to the mat. Find that Navasana boat pose. Lift the chest, lengthen up the spine, reach your arms forward. Alright, option two, you can always lower the fingertips down beside the hips. Alright, keep active engagement in the core. Core is strong. Take an inhale here. Exhale, low boat. Alright, reach your arm, feet forward, squeeze the inner thighs with each other. Alright, but lift the shoulders up as you really draw the belly in. We stay. Last three. Last two. Inhale, come up. Navasana, high boat pose. Staying here, still staying. Last three. Last two, take an inhale, listen carefully, exhale, reach your palms, grab the back of your thighs. Inhale, rock back, exhale, rock forward, come up, chair pose. Very nice, great job. Alright, we stay here, last three. Last two, inhale here, exhale forward. Oh, very nice. Beautiful. Alright, slowly start to sway the arms, left and right, left and right. Right, if you really, the hamstrings really warm by now, grab onto the back of your calves, melt the belly towards your thighs, maybe straighten up the legs, forehead towards the knees. For three, last two. Alright, release the arms. Alright, soft down the knees, inhale, roll yourself up. Reach your arms up, palms together, touch. Hips forward, heart towards the ceiling, gentle back bend once more. Exhale, swan dive down, forward four. Right, inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, bend the knees, one, both palms down. Left leg back, right leg back, high plank. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, knees, chest and the chin down. Inhale, glide forward, baby. All right, full cold right here. As you exhale, Downward facing down. Right, this time big toes and heels together to touch. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. Exhale, gaze towards the top of the mat. Two big steps forward. Alright, from here, can we wiggle the feet so that they are met with distance apart? Point the feet 45 degrees towards the outside. Right, inhale from here to a halfway lift. Listen carefully as you exhale, bend the knees and pull the hips back and down. Try to get the bum parallel to the mat, not all the way down, bum parallel to the mat. Then reach your arms forward. Puff the chest out, point the tailbone up, push the bum towards the back, reach your arms forward. Bicep by the ears. Alright, really opening up the hips, bring the knees to point out towards the side, pull the bum back even more. Reach your arms forward, press into the big toes. Call you strong, we stay. Last three. Last two, last two, last two, last two, and one. So you lower the bum down, fingertips down, Malasana Yogi Squat. Don't round the back, elbows in between the thighs, palms heart center, lift the chest, keep the spine long. Alright, same thing, wiggle left, right, left. Alright, this time maybe even walk the left fingertips towards the left as you reach your right hand up. Alright, coming for a gentle twist. Now, if you have a bite in your practice, listen carefully. You can wrap the right arm behind you first. Find that left inner thigh. Alright, roll the right shoulder back. Then maybe flip the left palm to find the right palm. Right, coming to a bind, left palm pulls the right hand over, so you really roll the right shoulder back. Alright, we stay last three, last two. Inhale, untwist. This time, right fingertips, walk it towards the right, reach your left hand up. Alright, twist the body over towards the left, roll the left shoulder back. Alright, then let, wrap the left arm 
behind you, find that right inner thigh. Only if you have a half bind or full bind in your practice. All right, don't let the right shoulder, left shoulder fall in. So keep pulling the left shoulder back. Wrap the right arm behind, sorry, in front of the right shin to find the left arm and pull it over. We stay. Very nice. Last three. Last two. All right, inhale, release the arms, come all the way back to center. Palms down, bring that left knee back, right knee back. All right, open up the knees, mat with distance apart. Relax the toes, bum close towards the heels. Take a very gentle child's pose. But this time, try to stay on your fingertips as you really melt the belly in between your thighs, lowering the chest down close towards the mat. All right, sweet left and right. Left and right. Very nice. Ground the palms. Inhale, roll yourself forward. Right? So bring the knees in. Separate their hip width distance apart. Right? So now with the hips really open, the hamstrings really warm. Alright, we're going for a very common yet, uh, for some of us, might be rather uncomfortable pose, uh, which, I'll, which is called our frog pose. So a frog pose is a very intense yin pose that is meant to really open up the hips and really stretch out the whole pelvic area here. Alright, so you might need blocks uh, or a very comfortable cushion, uh, pillow or towel that you have at home that will really help uh, if you know that your hips are tight. Alright, so how we get into it, we come in a tabletop position. So what you want to remember is that the hips must always be on top of the knees. The hips cannot be forward, the hips cannot be behind the knees. Hips always on top of the knees, all right? Keep the feet flexed, all right? Keep flexing the toes, don't relax the toes, flex the toes, and always keep the knee bent 90 degrees, or more, just a little bit more than 90 degrees. All right, so what you do, I'll just lead in my left side. So you plant the right knee down onto the mat. And then you slowly start to shift the left knee out. Slowly shift the left knee out. And then shift the left knee up. So really feel an opening in the hips here. All right, so shift the left knee out even more. As you can see, I'm flexing my feet. And then I rest my heels down. So my toes point out. But as you can see, my knee is still bent 90 degrees. Or maybe slightly more than 90 degrees as I really open up the hip. Open up the hip, open up the hip, slide the knees out, slide the knees out. You really look like a frog here, that's why it's called frog pose. You can stay on your forearms. Alright, where does the block help? If the hips, if this area is too painful because they are tight, you can always grab a block, place it at your pelvic region. Alright, one block, two block, a big pillow, a big bolster, that is always good. Alright, try not to bend the knees less than 90 degrees. Right, you want to keep the knees bent more, slightly more than 90 degrees. Right, don't let the hips fall back. Don't let the hips fall forward. All right, always keep the hip in line with the knee. Right, so you really feel a stretch all right, in between the hips. All right, if this is comfortable, you can go even deeper, even deeper. One day, we can finally plant ourselves all the way down onto the floor and enjoy this pose. All right, keep flexing the feet. All right, keep bending the knees slightly more than 90 degrees. All right, keep the chest spine long, we stay. Enjoy the opening in the hip. For last three. Last two. As you inhale slowly, if you're down to the floor, come onto your forearms. And come onto your palms with control. Pull the knees closer to each other. All right. Very nice. All right. So these kind of hip openers are very good for us to do at home, especially since now, uh, you know, during this circuit breaker period where we are all cooped up at home, uh, trying to keep ourselves safe. Uh, we are not as active as we are before. Uh, the the tendency is the hips is for the hips to get a little bit more tighter and the hamstrings to be a little bit more tighter during this period of time. So use these stretches at home at any point of the day. You can come into a half split, uh, you can come into your pyramid pose, you can come into your frog stretch, 
uh, to really warm up, loosen up the hamstrings. All right, so just a gentle cool down before we end today's class. All right, just bring the right shin parallel towards the top of the mat and roll the left knee back. All right, pigeon stretch here, roll the left hip down. Same thing as before. You can place a block below this right bum if the hips are tight. If not, you can place a cushion or a pillow, anything comfortable. But don't lean too much onto the right bum that you let your left thigh rolls out. All right, so what you want to do is you want to pull the left hip down and then fold yourself forward. So you really feel still an opening in that right hip and the stretch in the front of that left thigh, that left hip flexor. All right, keep the spine long. So try not to go all the way down and you round your back. What we also want to incorporate in this stretch is just a very gentle counter stretching of the back. All right, so come onto your forearms and then push the chest forward. So half seal, half pigeon. All right, if you want to go deeper with the, the back stretch, you can always lift the elbows up, push the chest forward. All right, for half steel, half pigeon. All right, don't feel, don't crunch into that low back. So keep lifting the chest up and push the chest forward. Last two. Last two. And as you inhale, so you walk the palms back. Just changing sides. Right, so lift up the left heel. All right, left foot forward, left shin parallel to the mat. Right knee all the way back. Relax the right toes. All right, if you need a block or a towel below this left bum, feel free to do so. All right, don't lean too much towards the left. Roll the right hip down. All right, then slowly come down to your forearms. Stay on your forearms. All right, now resting pigeon, we also want to counter stretch the back. So half seal, half pigeon. Just like our lion, half mermaid, half lion. <laughs> All right, inhale, we reach. Push into the palms as you reach the elbows up towards the ceiling, pushing the chest forward, lifting the heart, draw the shoulders away from your ears. Alright, roll the right hip down, feel the opening in that left hip, the stretch in the right hip flexor as we counter stretch the back. Alright, don't collapse into the lower back, so keep lifting the chest. Alright, for three, draw the shoulders away from your ears. Last two. You're going to inhale here, exhale, elbows down, tuck the toes, lift up that right knee. All right, come back for our sphinx pose. All right, just gentle stretch. All right, you can look over the right shoulder, look over the left shoulder. All right, for last three, last to stretch out the side obliques. Once you're ready, walk the palms back towards the chest. All right, and then roll yourself back, open up the knees, child's pose. Melting the belly in between the thighs. All right, so a lot of hip opener here. So we want to relax the hips, child's pose is a good one. So we really compress the belly in between the thighs. Last three. Last two. Right, look forward, inhale, just start to roll yourself forward. All right, belly down to the mat, and then roll yourself over so that your back is on the mat. All right, going for just some very simple, light stretches before we end. Left knee towards the chest, right palm on the outside of the left knee, pull it over towards the right. Reach your left hand out, supine twist. All right, gaze over the left shoulder, we stay. Last three. Yes, for two. All right, make sure that the left shoulder is grounded down onto the mat. All right. Inhale, come back to center. This time, left foot forward, right knee towards the chest, left palm on the outside of the right knee, pull it over towards the left. Reach your right hand up. All right, just make sure that the right shoulder is not coming up too high. All right, ground the right shoulder down. The right knee does not necessarily need to touch the ground. Just make sure right shoulder is. Right, gaze over the right shoulder. We stay for last three. Last two. Right, inhale, come all the way back to center. And then bend both knees towards your chest. Now grab onto the outer edges of your feet from the inside. All right, open up the knees out wide. As you pull the feet down, so you open up the hips. Happy baby pose here. 
Alright, so the hip should be my very open by now. So this is our final hip opening. Alright, so keep pulling the feet down close uh, towards the mat so that the knees are close towards the armpit. Alright, don't bend the knees too much. So same thing, bend the knees slightly more than 90 degrees. Alright, as you feel a slight stretch at the back of both of your thighs, your hamstrings here. Will you stay? For well, last three. Last two. Inhale, bring the knees together to touch. Grab onto your shins, hugging yourself into a ball. Lift the head up. Nose towards your knees. Squeeze and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, release the head. Release the arms. Release the feet. For your final resting pose, Savasana here. Allowing the feet to naturally fall off towards the side. The fingertips to naturally curl. To relax the space in between your eyebrows. Taking this time to allow the body to enjoy the full benefits of your practice today. You can stay for as long as you want in your Shavasana. In the meantime, my name is Shane. I'm from Yoga Movement. Thank you so much for joining me in practice today. I hope to see all of you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.